on to turn your hands on. <laughs> no, not that kind of turn on. <laughs> okay. <Whew. laughs> You're too much. All right. Um, today is going to be a long video, so get your coffee. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, he says, wait a minute, rewind. I'm rewinding. Hi, everyone. It's Nona Grace. <laughs> And today, and I'm from Western New York. Today's going to be a really long video. I'm sorry. And it's one of those that you have to kind of watch to see what's going on. There is talking in it, but then there's a section that I sped up and I sound like a chipmunk for sure. And um, it's going to show you my mealworms. I got my mealworms. Jim went shopping and he had to go down because the his windshield, a stone hit it and cracked it. So now it's, and it needs to be inspected, and because of the way the crack is, it won't pass inspection, so he's going to have to have the windshield replaced. And so we stopped at the um, insurance people, and we have full coverage, so there's no cost to us. And um, he made the appointment for his windshield to get done. I forgot what day he said, but that's okay. Tuesday. Tuesday. Oh, okay, Tuesday. And so he'll get that done. And he picked up um, oatmeal, more oatmeal, and I put it in the freezer. Now you have to put your oatmeal in the freezer because there's bugs in our cereal. Believe it or not, there's bugs in our grain. All cereals. All cereals should probably all go in. Yeah, and flowers, grain flour. And any grain stuff. Because there's actually little bugs in that stuff. Isn't it interesting that we're eating bugs and you don't even know it? Yeah. It's good. And the mealworms, actually, if I wanted to eat them, I could, but I don't think I'm going to. <laughs> that would be a treat and a half. Okay, and you're going to see us put the um, pine pellets down in front of the chicken house, and you're going to see us put some of the wood chips down. And I did put some wood chips inside, but I'm not going to show that part, but you'll see the pellets inside. And I tell you a little bit about uh, Louise, how she's doing. And... Um, I guess that's it. It's a real long video, so make sure you have your coffee. And I will all see you all again tomorrow. Bye. Much of a pause oh, I better. Oops, I didn't leave much of a pause, he tells me. Okay. <clears throat> Jim's bringing me some mealworms, and so I'm getting the mealworm stuff ready. I watched Wholesome Roots and. Rose was um, showing how they do mealworms, and that's how I'm going to do them. She does things so that they're the easiest and yet works the best. And I, I trust what she does, so that's what I'm going to do. So this is going to be the top of the... I'm going to use the tank for fish. I'm going to use... <clears throat> This is what I'm using, a fish tank. I gotta clean this out too. I gotta get the dust out of it first. It's been stored for a very long time. But we'll clean it out. Look at all the dirt that gets in there. And then, um, you gotta dump it over. And then the mealworms will go in here. This is what I'm gonna use. I used to have fish for a long time. When I had the daycare, listen to those birds. <laughs> They're pretty noisy. When I had the daycare, I had the fish. I don't have fish anymore. And then I had a turtle only in here. Then I gave the tank to my daughter, and then my daughter gave it back because I wanted to do mealworms. I actually bought this at a lawn sale years ago. And it's worked out great. Needs to be washed. As you can see, it's pretty dirty in there. Get the dust dirt out. There's what came out of it. That's quite a bit of dirt. And there's still more stuck here. Oh, I'm gonna dump it again. Let's see if I can get that out. Hello there, ladies. They've come to see what I'm doing. I haven't given them their food yet. 
I'm going to feed them in a bit. I don't want to use anything toxic, so I've just added water with some vinegar. And I will clean the tank. And this way, there's no chemicals that would kill my mealworms. We hope that they do real well. Hi there, Emma. You've always, you're always curious what I'm doing. And hello there. Ruby, are you Ruby? I don't know, you look like Ruby. Ruby was a big girl. You look like one. Oh, and there goes Brownie. Brownie is real dark brown. And from a distance, you'd think she was black, but she's brown. She's a real dark brown. And she's one of those ones that will fly out of the fenced area. A lot of you are probably wondering about Louise. Louise has gone to my brother's house and he's she's going to actually free range. He was he was saying she's too nice of a bird to to have for dinner, so she's not going to be dinner. She's going to be a uh, a yard pet. She's still laying eggs, which is very unusual because um Usually the hens stop laying as many. They'll lay all their life, but they just don't lay very many. And she's been laying pretty regular, so he will enjoy the eggs. I did give him some eggs yesterday when he came to get her. Because his hens haven't been laying. But she likes to lay, and she does a really nice egg. There we go. I think this is good. Gotta dump it. It's pretty sad I have to make the ground wetter. But I do. I'm gonna leave this out in the sun and let the sun bake it and it'll dry it for me. Today is a beautiful day. It's actually sunshiny. I'm gonna tip it a little more, tip it again, tip it all the way over. And tip it up. It's a beautiful day. There we go. All right. That's going to be for the mealworms. Look at the sky. Got a beautiful sky. Oh, there's the sun. I can't see. But look at that sky. Beautiful sky today. Just a wispy cloud over there. I heard another bird. Jim just got back with my supplies and my little worms. You stay out, Jake. I've got to make sure this is dry before I put them in. It looks like the sun did a good job. It's moisture underneath it. Okay. What they say to do is put oatmeal in there. So I'm going to put my oatmeal. Now my oatmeal, this is what I had in the house. And you're supposed to put it in the refrigerator because whether you know it or not, your cereal has bugs in it. So they put it in the freezer, I mean. And this way you kill anything that might be in it so that you don't get those meal moths. The little moths that could come. Green. Huh? Green moths. Green moths, yeah. Okay. And these were in a refrigerator. They keep them refrigerated. That's so that they don't, um, that one might be a dead one. I don't know. I did see some moving earlier. They were moving when, uh. Yeah, they're moving. See the little grains are yeah, moving. moving around. I'm gonna put them in here. Oh yeah, look at them. We're supposed to be a hundred in this little bundle. There might be a couple dead ones in there. They say the, the, Black, black ones, ones are the dead ones. This is probably a dead one. This one's probably a dead one. Or on its way dead. You're going to be dinner for chicken. Good. I'll leave them right there and see whether they move around. If they don't, then they're dead. Okay. 
And of course, they gotta wake up now because they've been, they've been cold. Cold. Okay. And There's then... a couple more in there, but. Oh, I see this one. There's one right, right there. there. And right, Oops, probably. Ah, oh, that's too bad. Oh wow. Well. Okay. And then there's this container of my little worms. That one. That one's only got a couple, maybe that one. That looks better. And it's fresher. Could be. I don't know, two. I don't know. But anyways, oh, here's a few more. Three, four. That one had less, less dead. Oh, here's another one. Five. Less dead ones. Okay. And then they say to avoid um, anything from molding, you put their food source on um, a piece of cardboard or something so that the moisture, this is their water, this is their water source. goes to seed and this way they'll they'll eat that and then I've got my screen that I'm going to put on top and these are going to go in the house because that's where I want them I want them in the house we're gonna have bugs in the house now oh no oh no is right I know I gotta put everything away okay I could even use the cover for the thing yeah. to put in there I yeah you could have used that Bring it in the house. Okay, we are done. Now it's starting. This is one of those old screens that was up in the attic. So I'm just going to put it, it fits this thing perfectly. So I'm just going to put it on here. And then I can see them, they can breathe. And this way, if there's any of the beetles, I don't think the beetles fly, but I don't know. But this way, if they do, or climb up the side if anything. I don't think they would climb up the side because it's too slippery. And they'll be good. Now we'll yep. just wait for them to grow. your food. <laughs> For, um, to absorb the moisture. This is only half of what he bought. Guess you're gonna be in my video today. I guess. I guess. Lucky me. Huh? Lucky you. Yeah, I can't even see in the camera. I have no idea what I'm looking at. It's just like a black screen. Uh, oh, I left the door. That's okay, they're not there. I know. Oh, you gotta go the other way? That makes it easier for me to get in. Oh, true. Okay. Well, I'm right in front of Right the in front of the doorway because that's where it was really squishy. Nifty little girls, look at this. We're gonna get the mud gone because I really can't take the mud when I'm coming out to feed you. I will feed you in a minute. I gotta go get your stuff. I wanted to catch this and if I'm feeding you, I'm missing this. 
This will be great. of you you're a good girl I don't know I think you're Rhonda help me Rhonda help help me Rhonda and there comes another back that's good yeah cuz it's pretty ishy back there with the rain that comes in I don't even have my boots on look at that yeah. Woo! pretty nifty huh yeah I'll be able to Here, uh... What? You probably don't want to go in and see where you want more or if you want more. No, that's good. You just have to spread it around. Because I don't have my boots on. And then when you're done, I'll call them back to come eat. This will be good because the rain likes to come in that area. Oops. Ceiling's short for you. I can stand up in here. Yeah. Hey, ladies. You came back. Look how big and fluffy you are. You've got some beautiful feathers working there. You too. You're a little smaller. You must be... Where are you? You must be um, the one with the... It's Louise. No, Louise is gone. Um, That's... Um, Ruby. No, you're Ruby. You're Rhonda. No, one's Robbie and one... I don't know who you are. Who are you? Emma. Emma's down there. She's not up here. Her tail, you can tell. She's got a really different tail. Her tail always looks like her hair's a mess. <laughs> Since I heard my name. Yeah. Yeah, she's coming. She's down there. Are you done for a yeah. little bit? Okay, I'll feed him. Yeah! Hello there, Emma. Yeah, you're Emma. Emma's the Emma. Emma. <laughs> Says I'll eat right out of the container. I don't care. Oh, that's not the one I wanted to eat out of. <laughs> Come, here. Come on, birds. Come on. Here, chick, chick, chick. happy that ones that came not everybody comes okay you go and they'll come he's gonna leave chickies you can come back mr. rooster come on bring your bring your harem oh they're nervous Nellies look at them that tractor starts up come on you can come he's leaving go in Hello there, Blackie. Hello, Lady Jane. Oh, you look so pretty with your feathers on your back now. You're beautiful. And Brownie, welcome to the party. And I don't know what your name is because you don't have one yet. You're kind of brown. 
Go on, you can go in. You're afraid of me, probably. You're looking at the rooster, thinking he's gonna tell you. All right, I'll leave. Yeah, you tell him. It's okay, you can go eat. checking out the wood chips. So, that's it for today. I'll see you all again <laughs> tomorrow. Bye.